I love new friendships and old friendships and all kinds. That was creepy. <laughs> this isn't gonna be. This isn't gonna be uh, the take that they pick for the video. And if it is, hey everyone, welcome back to Living Lovely. My name is Kim, and I'm Emily. And today we're actually gonna go ahead and talk about something that everyone loves, and that is relationships or friendships that we're really going to focus on um, and how to keep them healthy and happy and going strong. So one of the big things that I realized with relationships or just friendships in particular that is really, really quite important is for there to be clear communication. Communication is probably the one thing that will damage a relationship the fastest. If you're not clear as to how you're feeling and also clear and listening clearly to the person who you're in a relationship with I mean it's they're bound to be misunderstandings bound to be offenses bound to be disconnects because you guys can't continue to grow off of you know misunderstanding each other or only listening to one or two things or not continuously growing so that's something that I really have learned is that communication is key in work relationships romantic relationships friendships it's so, so important. Um, and I would just say that you can't look to whoever you're in that relationship with to complete you. So if you're having issues with your security and how pretty you feel, you can't look at your best friend to make you feel pretty or your boyfriend or your parent because they have their own issues going on and you might not always know what those issues are, but you definitely can't look at them to make you whole or to complete you. You have to find that within yourself. Um, and of course you can talk to them about those struggles and, and if they're a good friend they should be able to support you in those struggles but they're not going to be the one that fixes it. You're going to have to find that within yourself um, which is really important that you're not placing that on them because if you're placing too much on them that's going to be a burden that they just can't handle and they're going to fail at it and that's going to be detrimental to your relationship and you definitely don't want that to be a detrimental issue in your relationship. You wanna make sure the relationship is thriving and that you guys can grow together and you can conquer those battles, those hurts, those wounds together, but it's not them that's gonna complete you or fix you or, or whatever you're looking for, they're not gonna be the ones to do it. They're, they're a good shoulder to cry on, a good shoulder to listen to, but they aren't gonna be the end all be all. Um, you definitely have to find that within yourself. Something that I uh, really have learned um, with friendships and I'm still learning, uh, it's just that we're gonna hurt each other. So that's something that, that I still struggle with to this day is is I just don't ever want to hurt them ever. And I don't ever wanna say anything that will hurt them or do anything that will hurt them, but it's gonna happen because we're human and it's, it's about moving past that and not basing the friendship on that. So if, when they hurt me or I hurt them, you can't just be like, friendship done! Because we're humans and it's gonna happen. So that's my little tidbit that I'm still working on like today, like a couple minutes ago. <laughs> but yeah, the only way you're ever gonna make friendships last is if you're willing to forgive each other because we're all imperfect people and we tend to hurt each other. Imperfect people tend to hurt each other. Um, and so if you constantly hold a grudge every single time someone hurts you, it's just you're gonna run out of people to go to because someone's gonna hurt you eventually. Um, and so the only way to really to push past that and to keep the friendship going for years, to have like that friendship that lasts till you're like little old ladies or <laughs> is to forgive each other when you hurt each other and have grace for each other. Realize that this person isn't perfect and maybe they weren't trying to hurt you. Maybe it was nothing to do with you. So uh, just that understanding and that ability to look past yourself and to be able to try to see from their perspective and also just honestly, if they did do something wrong, just like to forgive them. Yeah, definitely. Um, so that's all we have for this Wisdom Wednesday. Make sure that you check out our blog, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and make sure that you comment below about uh, any friendships that you've had or you know any, any struggles you've had with, with keeping friends or anything like that, any questions you have for, that, uh, for this topic because we love hearing from you guys and we'd love to talk about it on our, on our <laughs> next Wisdom <laughs> Wednesday. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Bye. Bye.